Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doombreaker again and I'm here with another video for you guys. So, if my French teacher didn't give me as much homework as she did, I would be able to make more videos. So, uh, <laughs> that was a small rant, but um, today I'm going to start a new series that is eventually going to replace the Visual Basic series. I know, I know, it's sad, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to make... Uh, visual, visual basic tutorials anymore um, I'll still be uh, answering your questions but there's uh, some kind of bug on YouTube where I can't um, see your comments on a video so uh, or I can see them but I can't reply to them for some reason so uh, you'll have to wait until that's fixed but in the meantime here we are with um, the new series called Behind the Hacks. So in Behind the Hacks I'm going to show you guys uh, some outdated or um, actually working hacks um, for different kinds of stuff and I'm going to show you how to counter them. So of course this series is purely educational um, I'm not responsible for what you do with this information please don't use it for malicious purposes uh, use it to protect yourself and um, well to know how the bad guys do it so today we are going to um, do a little crossover between visual basic and uh, behind the hacks just to um, you know make you feel comfortable and today we're going to start with a Facebook freezer so a Facebook freezer or an account freezer because you can use it uh, for other sites is basically a program that can uh, block an account for a certain amount of time. So this is one I made myself for Facebook. Um, it doesn't work. Uh, it never worked, but that's because Facebook patched the some kind of well, it's it's some kind of bug or vulnerability. But they patched it in uh, early 2013, I think, and you can't use this anymore but you can use this on some other websites um, I think uh, using the same logic so how does it work the program needs a username and then it's going to keep trying to log in to that user and some websites have some kind of protection on them so that you can't uh, well brute force a password so uh, try every single password uh, more on brute forcing later in this series but um, as protection against that um, they made some kind of system that if you log in uh, I think it's 20 times it was for Facebook uh, 20 or 30 times it's going to block your account for 24 hours and this software does exactly that so uh, let's go to the code shall we so of course we have and my computer is going really slow because I ran out of disk space and I had to move uh, stuff to an external hard drive <laughs> so um, this web browser is completely invisible but it is there to navigate to Facebook so how it works is like this first of all when the button clicks is going to reset all the values to zero um, there are basic values uh, nothing special and it's going to start freeze Facebook so in freeze Facebook it's going to try and catch uh, just to make sure nothing goes wrong um, to navigate to facebook.com then of course this, the status goes up and all that for the GUI and it's going to start the check load timer in the check load timer it's going to um, check if Facebook is loaded when Facebook is loaded it's going to do all this and it's going to start bridge one bridge one is just a timer at one second to um, make the connect to Facebook label readable because uh, it's going so fast that you wouldn't be able to read it and then it's going to start um, Facebook 2 uh, or freeze Facebook too and that's going to attempt the freeze the freeze itself is in freezer 
um, the, the freezer timer. So if we go to the freezer timer, which is right here, you can see this code. It's going to do it 50 times. Um, you need 20 for it to work, but you can always use more just to be sure. And it's going to say that um, it's going to look for the uh, text box in the web browser where you put the email address and it's going to set the value to whatever is in the text box that you mentioned so it's going to be the account and then it's going to do the same thing with the password and enter the password one two three four five six which is of course a wrong password because who in their right mind would use the password one two three four five six that's just stupid and then it's going to uh, click the submit button so nothing fancy about that it's going to log in and then of course it's going to fail and it's going to do this over and over and over again for 50 times but then of course there was some kind of um, I think it's a, some kind of protection from Facebook that it um, will navigate you to another page to verify that you are that person and there is no login button or anything and also the button there doesn't have an ID so what I did is uh, just when that happens uh, so if that doesn't work and you can't click any buttons or anything it's just going to navigate to Facebook again and then it is possible to do all that again so after those 50 times it's going to successfully block that account the problem with that method on Facebook right now is that it's only working for that browser on that particular system. So that means that you can't use Facebook on your system on the browser that you're using in Visual Basic, which is Internet Explorer 7. And that's not really effective because the owner of the account can still access their account, which is um not what this hack is supposed to do so this was in short the facebook freezer or the account freezer for that matter so uh thank you guys for watching stay tuned for more behind the hacks uh in the future i'm going to do some more uh tutorials on uh password cracking password sniffing and all that stuff really cool stuff is going to um come but for now, this was it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please click the like button below. If you like the series, do the same. And if you like my stuff, consider subscribing so you can see all these new Behind the Hacks uh, videos appearing in your sub box. So thank you guys for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye.